So in chapter one, we have a, an introduction to the theory of individual decision making. And we have two approaches. We have a, a preference-based approach where we define various preference relations uh, over a set of possible choices and we impose some rationality axioms, uh, the completeness and transitivity of the preference relations. And a choice-based approach where we focus on observed behavior and we impose consistency of choice through various axioms of revealed preference. So the preference-based approach is based upon something which is not directly observable, whereas the choice-based approach has a um, directly observable behavioral foundation. Now, the interesting issue here will be that of the relationship between the two approaches, mainly given certain preference relations and uh, specifically rational preferences, what can we say about the choices that will be generated and given a particular um, choice structure, given the choices made by the consumer, what can we say about underlying preferences? Now the goal here will be to give consumer theory a, a behavioral foundation um, so as to have um, a scientific status uh, which requires falsifiability. So uh, the relationship between the two approaches will be very important if we try to um, view the theory of individual decision-making as something which can be falsified. Uh, the goal here will be to establish that the consumer's preferences are rational, uh, which is a necessary condition for the ability to model preferences via a real valued representation, mainly a utility function.